Hey Doodle Fam, it's Erin here um, and this is Sadie. So we had a little bit of unfortunate news um, this past weekend. We actually got Sadie back. She's nine weeks old so she had been at her family's home for a week and they decided that it was too overwhelming for them so they brought her back. So she was having a lot of challenges with crate training, so a little bit of anxiety issues with you leaving the room and so traditionally we would have sent her to a trainer before we went and found the next puppy family for her. But our trainers are booked out for the next two weeks. So JP and I are going back to the basics. We are walking out puppy training with you guys and we're gonna show you some of the things that we're doing later today to help Sadie with her uh, crate training and being separated from us. Uh, but she is doing fantastic. She is already making a lot of progress. Um, so the other things we're going to do today, we're going to do desensitizing with Shelly's puppies. They're four weeks old. And then we have Isla here for Puppy Watch. Um, so Isla, come here. So she is here for Puppy Watch. We took her to the vet today and she has at least four babies in there. So we're going to be uh, watching for her nesting and um, just making sure that we catch that and so that way we can have a nice healthy birth. So let's get started. Sadie, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's start the rest of our training. Okay, so the game Sadie and I are gonna to play today is um, rewarding her for being in the bed with good behavior. So we found these treats, they're liver treats. She absolutely loves them. She kind of goes bonkers for them. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. Sadie, Sadie, in your bed, in your bed. Good girl. And we're gonna let her have it when she's in the crate in the bed. Good girl. Last one. Good girl. Good job. Okay, Sadie. Still hunting for those treats. Sadie, come on. Come. Good girl, sit. Good girl. All right, so then we're gonna move on and do it starting to close the door. All right, Sadie girl, bed. Good girl. Okay, so now we're gonna shut the door and then we're going to give positive reinforcement with the treats inside, as long as she remains calm. Good girl. Good girl. All right, this is huge. Sadie, when she first came to us, she did not like the crate at all. So she did a lot of yelping and howling and pawing at it. Uh, so this is awesome. awesome. This is just day one of Sadie being in the crate. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the door since she did well. And we're gonna wanna play this game a couple of times a day. So that way she gets used to it and she knows that every time we put her in the crate, we aren't just heading out the door. We're not leaving. Um, it doesn't mean that it's bedtime. So we want the crate to be a happy and safe place for her. So another thing that you can do is move the crate around to different spots. If you're cooking, take it into the kitchen with you. And so that way they know that the crate is their place. It's not a negative or a punishment. Um, so follow along with us as we Practice this with Sadie and do this multiple times throughout the day and just throughout the week. All right, come on girls, let's go play.
One thing you can't forget when you're doing your training is that puppies have tons of energy. They need to be able to run around and get all that energy out so they can focus on your training. So we are glad we have Bella and Shelly here to help us with that with Sadie. Come on, Sadie. All right, so Shelly's puppies are almost four weeks old. They're four weeks old tomorrow, and we're getting them ready for their puppy picking. And on Saturday, all the families will come. And so we are gonna get their nails ready and make sure that everybody um, is ready for puppy picking. Puppy picking is a really exciting day. Uh, it's the time that the families are coming and they're meeting all the puppies for the first time. And so we do it uh, we do it family style, so everybody comes together and they're meeting one another and then they get to play with all the puppies and see their personalities and their coat types and how big they are and it's just so much fun. We put toys out and for an hour everybody plays together and meets all the puppies and then they give me their list of choices. And so if your first pick, then you get your first pick. And if your third pick, then you're gonna give me your top three choices and I get you the closest one that I can to the top. So based on the other two people in front of you. So everybody leaves happy because they know who their puppy is and then they only have four more weeks till they get to take their puppy home for good. We're getting Isla Rose's area set up. So we're gonna get our food bowl and our water bowl. Sadie, are you helping? So getting everything set up. She is due on Sunday. So any day now, we could get some puppies. Now that we got Isla's area all set up, we have her mat, we have her food, everything's refilled. We have a couple of things that we're definitely gonna need for her birth. So I'm just gonna show you what's in our basket. So we have notepad and pen, good old school method, making sure we document the times in which the babies are born, any kind of weights and collars that we put on them. That way we can start tracking their growth going forward. You have gloves, you can never have enough gloves. You're gonna need them for everything, so. We also have our zip ties and our collars to make sure that every collar fits appropriately. You don't want their legs to get all tangled up inside, so put the collar on, put a zip tie on the end, that way you make sure that it doesn't come off. We also have calcium, it's called Oral Cal Plus, and this is something that our reproductive vet suggested. Um, if any time that labor ever stalls out, we give it to them based on their weight. And then most important, nasal aspirator. We have two. <laughs> Making sure that the puppy's airway is clear if they're having any kind of struggles with breathing, suction out some of the mucus that's inside so that way they get um, breathing better. And lastly, hemostats. So hemostats are really important because if a mom uh, cuts the umbilical cord too close and there's some bleeding, you put the hemostat on and after a couple of minutes, the bleeding will stop. So making sure that every puppy is born as healthy as possible. We have had a really great day today with Isla and Sadie, Bella and Shelly. Uh, if you want the next video to be Isla's birth and to watch us capture those moments, give this video a like. And we are very excited about the two uh, puppy pickings that we've got going on on Saturday. And I hope you have a great day.